Today's story takes place in the village of Finte in Western Russia. In 2021, 34 year old Afechislav Matrusov was happily married with kids and working at a factory that produced rockets for engines. At some point, he struck up a friendship with another man named Oleg Spiridov. The two appear to have been very close, and Oleg must have enjoyed the total trust of both Afechislav and his wife, as Oleg would often babysit the couple's daughters. In fact, Oleg would eventually become a godfather to one of his friend's daughters. However, Oleg would betray their trust in one of the most horrific ways possible. One evening, Afechislav and Oleg were drinking together when tiredness overcame Oleg and he fell asleep. According to some accounts, Afechislav knew that Oleg had photos on his phone that were of sentimental value. Photos of Oleg with Afechislav and his family. Perhaps Afechislav was just being nosy when he took Oleg's phone. But either way, what Afechislav would find on his friend's deface would shake him to his very core. A video that clearly showed Oleg abusing Afechislav's six-year-old daughter. The same daughter whom Oleg was godfather to. In a blind rage, Afechislav woke up his erstwhile friend and confronted him with the incriminating evidence. He immediately demanded that Oleg turn himself in to the authorities, but instead Oleg fled. Afechislav went to the local police and told them what he had discovered on Oleg's phone. Further analysis of Oleg's deface would uncover even more abuse of other children in the village. Oleg's ex-wife had a daughter from a previous marriage and it was discovered that he had abused this little girl also. As the police got to work on finding Oleg, word of his crimes began to spread around the village. The people were absolutely horrified that a monster like Oleg had been living in their midst. The villagers wanted to see him captured and brought to justice as quickly as possible, but in the end, Afechislav caught up with Oleg before the police could find him. One day in September 2021, Oleg was seen in the village. It was clear that he had been badly beaten. Just who it was that assaulted Oleg that day isn't known. It's not inconceivable that somebody in the village or even a group of people decided to hand out their own brand of justice. Oleg's day was about to get a lot worse though. Somehow Afechislav managed to find Oleg. Armed with a knife, Afechislav marched Oleg out to a forest near the village. Once there, Afechislav forced his erstwhile friend to dig his own shallow grave. What happened next isn't exactly clear. The only person who knows for sure is Afechislav himself. According to him, he gave Oleg a choice. Either he turn himself in or instead take his own life. Apparently, Oleg wasn't willing to accept either option and so, in an act of desperation, he charged at Afechislav. In the ensuing struggle, Oleg supposedly impaled himself on Afechislav's knife and died. Just how many times Oleg was stabbed isn't exactly clear. One report stated that he was found with a total of 38 stab wounds on his body. If that is the case, then Afechislav's story doesn't make much sense. Another source states that a forensic report found Oleg wasn't even stabbed in the forest at all, but somewhere else altogether. One week after Oleg was seen stumbling around the village after being assaulted, authorities found his body in an unmarked grave in the forest. 
His former friend, Afecislav, was subsequently arrested on suspicion of murder. Afecislav told cops that he had only been trained to scare Oleg into handing himself in. He insisted that Oleg's death was an accident, not premeditated murder. News of Afecislav's arrest prompted an outpouring of sympathy in the village and indeed around Russia. A petition signed by over 2,000 people demanded his immediate acquittal. Afecislav's defenders argued that the abuse Oleg had subjected his daughter to represented extreme mitigating circumstances. In the end, Afecislav was charged and convicted of inciting a person to suicide or attempted suicide by threats or abuse. He was looking at a possible six year stint behind bars but ultimately was sentenced to 18 months in prison. He would serve just six months of that sentence before being released in October of 2022. Just how many children Oleg abused will never be known. If not for Afecislav stumbling across the video of his daughter's abuse on his one-time friend's phone, there's every chance Oleg would still be targeting victims to this day. Just what happened between Afecislav and Oleg in the forest that day may never be known. Afecislav continues to stand over his story that Oleg's death was accidental, but there are no independent witnesses to verify anything. If the forensics report on this case is correct, then Oleg was already dead before Afecislav brought him up to the forest. Personally, I think the beating that Oleg was subjected to on the day he was last seen alive points towards more people being involved in Oleg's demise. But I don't want to engage in too much speculation. After his release from prison, Afecislav returned home to his family. Given the terrible ordeal his daughter went through, I'm sure that she would have been delighted to have her father home. And I hope she and all of Oleg's victims find the peace and closure they deserve. Okay, we'll leave it there for today, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.